For some students, school has already started, so I was inspired to make a video to help students in preparing for examinations. Hello everyone, this is Gerard, back to you with another tutorial video related to taxation. So on this video, I'm going to be explaining what a table of specification is, or a TOS, and how understanding it assists you in passing your examination, particularly licensure exams. So a table of specification is a tool used by examiners or assessors in preparing a test or assessment in order to measure an examinee in terms of content and thinking skills that the exam intends to measure. Using the Professional Regulatory Board of Accountancy Resolution Number 275, Series of 2015, it says that a TOS shall be the basis for the test items to be encoded or inputted in the test question data bank. Now, if you're preparing for an exam, particularly a licensure examination, you have to be very familiar with at least two things. First, the syllabus of that particular exam, and second of which is the table of specification or TOS. So on this video, I'm going to be focusing on the TOS. Now, what does a TOS look like? So using the table of specification for taxation exam effective October 2022, you'll notice that it has a list of topics and outcomes, weight in percentage, number of items, and qualification descriptors, wherein questions comes from understanding, application, and analyzing. We also have remembering, evaluating, and crafting, but we'll ignore those descriptors because there seems to be no questions under them. So the way questions are crafted is primarily dependent on the descriptor use. So we have what we call your lots and the hats. We could say that taxation exam is in the middle of lots and hats. Understanding and applying are under lots. Conversely, analyzing is under hats. So I'll be focusing my discussion on the three descriptors present for the board exam for taxation. Let's look at the topic principles of taxation. You'll see that there are eight questions, all of which are categorized as understanding. How does an understanding question look like? Here is an example question. So observe that the question is focused on the concept of valuation, which is part and parcel of the computation of donor's tax. What this means is understanding questions will circle around explaining certain ideas or concepts. Continuing with our next descriptor, which is application. Generally speaking, the question will most likely ask you to solve a particular problem, such as this example right here. As you can see, these questions test if you know how to apply the conceptual frameworks by solving a particular problem, in this case, computing donor stacks. The last descriptor is analyzing, using the same question, but let's modify it a bit. Notice that I added the word verbally. You now dig information from your brain relating to civil code principles of donation with the computation of donor tax under the tax code. We deconstruct the question and find the relationship between verbally donating and paying the transfer tax. Lastly, observe the weight of percentage. Now, the passing rate for professional accountants is 75%. As you can see, some topics are given a heavier weight compared to others. So focus on those particular topics because they pose a more material effect in passing the exam. Ideally, you have to be competent in all areas of the topic. But by scrutinizing the weight in percentage, it gives an insight on which to focus due to the number of questions coming from such topics. Knowing this, you can now create a strategy where to devote limited study time income taxation. And that's it. So I hope this short video on table of specification will help you in your preparation for taxation exam and other exams. So if you found this video very helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more tax videos to help you improve your skills and knowledge in taxation. Lastly, if you haven't yet already, hit that notification bell so you won't miss any tax tutorials. So this is Gerard. I'll see you in the next one.